Despite Rise's success and achievements, fans constantly wondered about Song Han's future. Well, they finally got an answer, but it wasn't the one they wanted, and the circumstances surrounding it were quite disturbing too. Even before their debut, Rise faced various scandals, but the one that caused the most uproar involved Song Han. To explain what happened, his privacy was violated when photos with an ex-girlfriend and videos of him smoking were leaked without his permission. While these behaviors are typical for teenagers, they sparked a campaign among Korean fans and netizens to have him removed from the group. SM responded to this backlash by putting him on hiatus on November 22nd of last year, stating he needed time to reflect and improve. Meanwhile, Rise continued releasing music as fans speculated about the duration of Song Han's hiatus and whether it would ever end. Finally, almost a year later, on October 2nd, SM announced that Song Han's hiatus was over and that he would go back to promoting with Rise starting in November. In a statement on Rise's social media, the company informed fans that during Song Han's 10-month absence, he had been reflecting on his past actions, which he acknowledged were wrong. They explained that his behavior didn't align with their standards for an artist, so they carefully considered when to bring him back. They also apologized for the delay in updating fans, knowing many were concerned about his status as a member during the hiatus. They shared that he had been working hard to improve during his time away, and asked fans to trust their decision, apologizing for any confusion or difficulties caused. After SM's statement, Song Han spoke out about the situation on his own. He posted a handwritten letter to fans on Weaver, saying that he had been disappointed in himself when his pre-debut pictures came out and felt regretful about what he had done. Song Han apologized to the fans who supported him and to the group members who had to deal with the situation while he was away. He shared that the members had reached out to him, which he recognized must have been a tough decision for them, and he expressed deep gratitude for the opportunity they gave him. Though he admitted feeling the weight of these expectations and some fear, he promised to work even harder to repay the trust placed in him. In the end, he said, I will work hard to become a good member and ensure I will not hinder the progress and achievements the members have made thus far. Both statements were pretty shocking, especially since people didn't even expect Song Han to come back in the first place. In fact, many of them were certain that the company was just waiting for his contract to expire so they wouldn't have to deal with the trouble. So to say that there were conflicted opinions on this would be quite an understatement. International fans were thrilled by his return and happy that SM finally made a choice they felt was right. They couldn't understand why Song Han was being treated harsher than actual criminals or why so many people were wishing him harm when all he did was have a normal life before debuting. When it comes to Korean fans though, it's a whole different story. Based on online forum comments, people were furious at SM's decision to bring him back. Users commented things like, is SM insane? And no, Rise is six members. They also seem to think that Song Han's return is going to hinder any progress that the group has made these past 10 months, seeing him as a freeloader and a burden to the group. Some people complained that Song Han's return disrupted the group's visual balance, claiming they looked better with just six members. Others said his comeback ruined the group's chances of becoming popular, threatening to boycott their music and saying that they had lost interest in keeping up with them. Fans accused SM of intentionally hurting the group's success by bringing Song Han back and demanded the company act quickly before Rise lost its entire fan base. As you can see from these reactions, fans weren't pleased and made their frustration obvious in any way they could. First, they sent a thousand funeral wreaths in front of SM's building with messages like, Song Han leave Rise, Freeloader Song Han exit, and withdraw your decision to bring back the evil member Song Han. Then they started canceling their orders of Rise's photo book and other merch, letting the company know that they wouldn't purchase anything from then on if Song Han remained in the group. Following this, the group's official fan club also released a statement denouncing SM's decision to bring Song Han back. They insisted the company acknowledge that Rise's success was due to the six active members and the loyal fans viewing Song Han who had been inactive most of the time as more of a burden. The fan club also expressed frustration, saying that since fans had been supporting the group as six members, SM's sudden decision to bring Song Han back felt like a betrayal. On top of everything, SM was blamed for causing a divide within the fandom, damaging Rise's image and concept, and creating a toxic environment for the remaining six members to work and promote in. Those opposed to Song Han's return also managed to crash SM's Kwangya 119 service center, which handles artist-related reports. Fans coordinated mass spamming, demanding Song Han's removal and causing the system to crash. As you can see, the reaction against his return became so severe that one of the other RISE members, Wanbin, had to speak out. On October 13th, he shared a message on Weavers, admitting he was nervous about how fans might respond, but felt that staying silent would only create more confusion among them. He explained that there were likely questions about his fellow 
members return, but assured them that Song Han, the members, and the company had long discussions on the matter. Won Bin then asked fans to understand that the group had been deeply considering the situation together, expressing his regret that he couldn't make everyone happy. Though he knew this message wouldn't resolve all their concerns, he hoped it would at least bring some comfort amidst the confusion. Unfortunately, his post did nothing to calm the waters. One fan tweeted that they didn't care if Won Bin or the other members wanted Song Han to return, arguing that only the fans' opinions mattered since they were the ones spending money on the group. So, netizens and the fandom kept pushing SM to remove Song Han, showing little concern for how it might impact his mental health. Shockingly, some even said they wouldn't stop until he hurt himself or worse. Fans of the group believed SM would step in to address the situation, whether by suing those sending threats and wreaths or taking other actions. They reasoned that the company wouldn't have brought Song Han back unless they were prepared to handle the backlash, and they expected SM to tackle the problem accordingly. However, it very soon became clear that SM wasn't ready to handle the situation at all. Instead of managing things, they quickly gave in to fan demands, revealing that it was the fans, not the company, who seemed to be the ones calling the shots for the group. Just 48 hours after announcing that Song Han would be coming back from his hiatus, SM released another statement to notify fans that he had made the decision to leave the group. In their statement, they apologized for listening more to the production team than valuing the time rise and the fans shared. They also explained that the decision to bring Song Han back was made with the hope that it would allow the group to grow and bring happiness to everyone, despite his past mistakes. However, after seeing the fans' reactions, they realized that this decision only caused more confusion and pain. In the end, Song Han chose to leave the group entirely, thinking it was best for both the members and fans. Song An later shared a handwritten letter acknowledging the gravity of the situation. He expressed concern about the potential harm he might be causing to the members and the company, ultimately concluding that stepping away was the best choice for everyone involved. He went on to say, I don't want to cause any more hurt or confusion for the fans, and I don't want to harm the members any further, and I also don't want to hurt the company any further. Song Han then thanked SM and the members for giving him another opportunity and apologized to the fans who supported him, promising to cheer on the group from afar. The news was surprising, as it marked the first time an idol left their group so soon after returning from a break. While leaving Rise might have been Song Han's decision entirely, SM faced significant criticism for their management of the situation from the start. Fans pointed out that since Song Han's hiatus, SM had treated him as if he hadn't been a part of the group in the first place. The members weren't allowed to mention him, he was excluded from Rise's webtoon, edited out of pre-debut material, and removed from Instagram highlights and merchandise. Given that fans were accustomed to seeing the group without Song Han and had doubts about his return, it makes sense that they reacted so strongly when SM went against the six-member agenda they had been promoting since last year. Secondly, the company didn't even handle his return or his departure well at all. As mentioned, considering how vocal fans were during his hiatus and their clear opposition to his return, SM should have anticipated the backlash and thought it through in advance. After all, they had 10 months to figure out how to handle the situation if fans reacted poorly. Instead, they sent a troubling message that crazy behavior would get fans what they wanted. This was evident when Karina had to apologize for dating, and now it's evident with Song Han's case. As a Twitter user put it best, the only thing SM has proven is that there is no conviction behind their word, and fans can just run the show if they post a few comments and send a couple wreaths. This behavior sends a clear message to other idols at SM and the other RISE members. If you go against what fans want, you will face similar consequences. To make matters worse, SM announced Song Han's departure while the other RISE members were mid-flight, leaving them unaware until they landed. When they did, fans noticed they looked gloomy, with Sohee even appearing red-eyed as though he had been crying. This led to accusations that SM blindsided Song Han and made the decision when the other members were away so they wouldn't be involved or offer him any real support. The company also deleted Wan Bin's post on Weverse, which only fueled the delusions of obsessive fans even more. The most troubling aspect is that, even if Song Han made the choice himself, it was done under intense stress and panic. A video surfaced of a man believed to be Song Han walking past the rows of funeral wreaths outside the company. In the clip, he appears visibly distressed, holding his head in his hands as he looks at the wreaths. Even if Song Han was mentally prepared to return, he likely wasn't ready to handle strangers going as far as to buy funeral wreaths and wishing harm on him. These individuals clearly didn't care about the group or its members, despite their repeated claims. Even after Song Han left and they ultimately got what they wanted, they kept putting up new wreaths when his fans removed and destroyed the old ones. The situation has upset many, including non-fans, with people banding together to urge SM not to cave to every irrational demand from certain Korean fans. A significant number have pledged to stop supporting the group, and Rise's official Twitter account has lost tens of thousands of followers quickly. There's also 
growing doubt about how SM plans to promote Rise as an international group when they seem to ignore the voices of non-Korean fans. Right now, the focus is on hoping Songhan has a strong support system to help him through what's clearly been a difficult and overwhelming experience. Many are also waiting for these irrational fans to finally be held accountable and be put in their place, which is what they deserve after all they have been putting idols through.